Hello everyone, this is Karthik Salvaraj and in this new video series we will be seeing about IBM WebSphere MQ file transfer edition. So in short it is called as MQFTE. So the agenda of this video would be to see about an introduction on uh, managed file transfer and how to install MQFTE in a Windows server. Okay. So like in every enterprise consists of a heterogeneous systems. So the application would be having a OS which will be running on mainframes on Linux, Unix and some applications on Windows. So so in today's world all applications needs to be communicating with the other application. So this brings us to this managed file transfer concept wherein the applications which is hosted on Windows server needs to contact an application hosted on Unix server. You need to have a mechanism to transfer the files to the other servers which runs in a different OS. So that's where managed file transfer comes into picture. Okay. So managed file transfer in addition to transferring the files will also help you to audit and provide a statistical reports on what are the transfer that happened and it does a lot others too. Okay. So it's still not a matured uh, market because we don't have much tools in this managed file transfer uh, suits so i think uh, ibm websphere mqft is clearly one of the best one in the market right now okay so that's all about an introduction on managed file transfer so a little bit introduction on ibm mqft so mqft is built on mq as the backbone it uh, internally uses the queuing mechanism to transfer the files so MQFT can <coughs> help in uh, transferring a file uh, from a folder to folder or from uh, uh, if it is going to be a mainframe system it's going to be a data set to a Windows folder or it can transfer files from a queue to a folder location or from a folder location to queue so basically we can uh, classify into three types it's called ftf it basically stands for file to file so you, this file system can be a folder as in windows and unix or it can be a, a data set and next one is f to queue which stands for file to queue so and the third one is queue to file okay so mqft can't do queue to queue because we have already mq to do the purpose for queue to queue transfers okay <coughs> now we can go to the installation part okay so i have logged on to the <coughs> windows server so basically you need to download the mq8 version and we and uh, there is a trial version available that you can download from uh, ibm site i will provide the details of the link in my in the descript description section below so you have to fill some basic details about your name your work email and uh, your designation and everything so it's a pretty simple process okay. so it is a zip file which is around uh, 530 MB so just unzip it and you can see a setup file over here just click it so <coughs> if you and uh, better to log in the server with the admin rights because uh, that would be required for you to install the software in it okay so try to install this with the user which has admin rights okay so just run this package okay so <coughs> you can uh, see if it has fulfilled all your uh, software and uh, requirements so click on this software requirements tab so you can see it is supported on uh, this particular edition of windows windows server 2012 edition and uh, you can skip these parts just click if you want to see it and you have the mq installation the final part if you click this you will be getting a launch IBM MQ in installer over here so select your language so probably it should be in English if you are familiar with English so click launch installer okay. 
<coughs> so you have to wait for a few seconds till it gets launched okay so just read through the agreement of this evaluation copy and accept it so go to next and you have to select the custom installation because by default this installation will only do the MQ installation if you need MQFT to be installed you have to go for this custom installation next and you can have these just the same don't have to change anything next next okay this is the part where you need to enable those things if you see here only um, MK Explorer development kit toolkit has been enabled so enable So you have enabled this future and its sub features as well. Okay. Okay. So okay. So now we have checked in all the record things. For MKFT to work, so whatever starts with manage file transfer, just enable those things. Okay, now click next and install. Okay, you have to wait for a few minutes, so I'll pass this video for a while till the uh, installation gets completed. Okay. Okay, the installation has been completed, so just finish this. And, uh, next so this is nothing but MQ will be running as a service just select no okay now you don't want to read the release notes so uncheck this but we want uh, MK Explorer to be launched so finish so it might take a few okay it launched good so I have passed that video now uh, MQ Explorer has opened so if you are able to see this managed file transfer uh, over here that means you have successfully installed over it so in this next video we will be seeing how to set up uh, the required components to make it working and thanks for watching this video bye